Uh, I'm Team 23. Uh, we have four members. My name is Sir Hoon. We are going to present you the challenge one. Okay, what is our challenge here? Our challenge here is in Singapore, the Singapore power is only the only one power supplier. All the cost and the rate is fixed. So the tenants are not aware of how much is their power consumption. They consume power, they pay the bill, but they do not know what is that means. Okay, so they do not consider cost saving and energy saving. So here we want to tell okay, all the bosses, if they save cost, that means they have a profit. So how we fix this problem? This is all our objective and our purpose. So we educate the tenants to save energy. Electricity power is measured in kilowatts, which is an alien to the bosses. Power means what? Kilowatt means what? But now we want to tell them it's associated with dollar sign. So we convert kilowatt into dollar sign. So they know if I save this cost, I have this amount of profit. So how we do it? We set up the system which comprises electromagnetic wave clamp, imon pie, okay, a router for intranet and all the data we have can be connected to the laptop, PC, or smartphone. So we have the any electrical appliances. We can connect it to an electromagnetic wave clamp. Then all the data is connect, collected to Imon Pi. Then all data stored in intranet and we can retrieve through a PC, laptop, phone, or apps. This is the our general rough layout. So in all the data that we collected in the dashboard, we can present the power consumption and the electric tariff. This is an example of the presentation. So it will show the current power voltage daily monitoring every single second of your power and eventually it converts into a cost. Daily cost and it can be a monthly cost. So the bosses will know this is the cost we spend. So he, if he reduce the cost, he make more profit. Uh, I mean, this one uh, is our preliminary uh, results and we found that there are things that we can further optimize. So we can put a threshold or a budget. The moment the threshold or the budget hits, he will notify the owner. We also break down the analysis into a office consumption, of office consumption and weekend. So you know what, where is the problems. In addition to that, with all the user, you can have a ranking. So it's like a competition. Oh, today I only consume this amount of power. So I did well. And the other people say, hey, the same company, why they do better than us? So there's a competition. Okay, this is an example a screenshot. This one is the uh, electric tariff per, per day. And this one is the power consumption. And this one is the total monthly uh, power, power consumption. And this one is the cost. It just directly shows you the number so you can see. Just to clarify the technical term that you use, lah, huh? we, we use kilowatt hour okay. rather than kilowatt. The other point which is slightly inaccurate is regarding the market structure of the electricity market. Okay. We, we do have what we call contestable and non-contestable customers. So you are talking mainly about households which Household are not non-contestable and small businesses. Yeah, yeah. So that, that has to be clarified. Lah, huh? but, but anyway, your project is obviously aimed at the smaller users. Lah, huh? um, I'm, I'm just wondering, um, have you done any assessment of the potential for this approach to really save uh, energy? Oh, actually, that's the purpose of the, the competitive ranking. Uh, because like, okay, like small household, okay, household A, household B, and household C. So they have a competition. Actually, it's the same size of household A. Why people is using less than me? So because uh, I do not off the power. I mean, sometimes we just unplug the laptop. We never off the power, so it still consume it. So people will start to think. I mean, how to optimize? Since why the same household, the other one can be lower consumption than the other one. You, I mean, I understand the, uh -huh. that approach, but uh -huh. the trouble is that you have to think about all the differences across different households, right? That's why, even though currently I receive a bill that uh -huh. tells me my position uh, consumption relative to average national average sometimes i'm wondering is it because my my family is bigger you know 
Uh, not because I'm wasting electricity, it's just that I have five people, they have maybe two people, you know, mm. something like that. So how do you deal with these kind of things which potentially may be needed to really assess uh, your performance level, you know? Okay, actually, uh, our data collected like every signal, every second, every minute. So actually, we can, we can analyze actually at what hours, I mean, what point you have the peak, I mean, the highest consumption. And then the, the, the user can reflect, eh, why every day, every time, at this time, at the highest consumption? So then he can find a problem mm. and fix it, or, or maybe certain electrical appliances that, that they have, have the higher consumption. Because this thing can also tap onto the individual uh, electrical appliances. Thank you. Yeah.